So it comes down to Michelle Kwan, the five-time world champion who came up short this time in Moscow. She walked away without a medal for the first time since 1995 at Worlds, but it was her first experience under the new scoring system, and it definitely left an impression. The Worlds in Moscow was definitely a great experience, a learning one for me, because it was the first time that I was judged under the new system. And I realized that I have a lot to catch up to. And uh, I wasn't really, really disappointed, but I think I could have done a lot better. I feel that I was a year behind everybody else um, since that was my first time being under that system. And the other skaters have skated under that system for about a year. So I feel that there's a little bit of catching up to do, but I think I can handle it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our sixth skater, representing the Los Angeles Figure Skating Club, Michelle Kwan. It certainly was a wake-up call for her in the sense that you can study a scoring system all you want, but until you actually compete under it, you don't fully understand it. Now, she has to make those changes in time for the Olympics. Here's Michelle Kwan. to her skating tonight. She really has command of this audience. She seems to really be into the music more than I've seen her all season. mathematical, almost a mathematical piece of music, constantly insistent, hypnotic, suggestive, repetitive melody, very little modulation, very little tempo change until the end. And that was a nice triple salco. She's capable of doing triple, triple combinations, but where are they tonight? Well, we saw them in the practices even That's here. That's not tonight. But she doesn't do it in the competition. Why do you think that is, Peggy? I don't know. I mean, maybe she hasn't been, she hasn't had it as part of her program on a regular basis. And then when you start taking things out, it makes it more scary for you to put it back in. I think, you know, you just can't do that to yourself. You lose the confidence. Can she win an Olympic gold medal without a dick? If she doesn't, if she remains complacent, then she will not win the Olympics. Even with this beautifully warm and wonderful spiral combination that everybody loves. I don't think she gets into this music. It requires a really passionate, romantic kind of approach. And I feel she's just sort of skating last year's program to this music. It's certainly not Christopher Dean's work. She has really pushed through this program to land all the jumps she has not made. One mistake. 
That's where she's so good. And of course, having Perfect. said that, she just popped it. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I see a lot more passion. This is the straight line step. Has a lot of emotion, great footwork. And she really gives her all to this choreography at this point. Well, this crowd is not disappointed at all. You could feel the warmth when she even stepped out on the ice this evening, and they love her. She gave this program a very good performance tonight, solid and energetic. But if she's going to compete in the Olympic Games, she's got to up the level. She cannot go around doing triple-triple combinations in the practice. If she's going to do a program of this quality, she's got to really attack and understand it. She cannot be complacent. She cannot be settled. She cannot stick with the status quo. But this was the best that we have seen from Michelle Kwan this year. Absolutely. Now look at the solidity of this skating. The good solid edging. First a triple flip, landing very nicely into a double toe. And this was toward the end of the program, this triple lutz. I felt a real fire in her tonight. I think she really focused and wanted to do a clean program and live up to all the expectations people have of this young lady. And at the end, she knew she had met the moment. We'll see if she wins just moments from now. Right now, it's Sasha Cohen with the lead, and she's with Peter. Sasha, first of all, how's your leg? Um, it's okay at the moment, and, um, you know, hopefully it'll keep recovering. What's the most important thing that you take out of this season? Well, I think just pulling myself together and midway through the season and skating, you know, getting on the road to nationals and then skating really well, getting a silver medal at Worlds. As you look forward to the next season, what are your thoughts? Um, keep working with this new point system and just so excited to start an Olympic year. All right, thanks for your time. Five, eight. Five, eight. Hi, Peter. Thanks. Find out if Sasha holds on to that lead and wins here. Michelle Kwan, technical merit. Five, six, up to a couple of five, eight. Well, you see, they're just not high enough for the technical merit that she's going to need to make a real challenge for the Olympic title. Pretty good right now, though, as we look to the second set for presentation. All 5.9s, Peggy, and that is enough. Michelle Kwan able to win here in Tampa. Well, very deserving. I mean, she really skated the best we've seen her all season. It's nice for her to end the season like this. More emotion and more passion here than we saw in Moscow, at least I early think on. so, yes. Yep. So Kwan able to win, and she picks up $50,000 for the win here. She edges out Sasha Kona, comes in second, and then Jenny Kirk able to win that third spot. It was Meisner who beat Kirk at Nationals. Now it's Jenny who gets the best of Kimmy. And remember, Hughes beat Meisner at the Junior Worlds. And now Meisner finishes ahead of Hughes. That's a battle we'll watch for many.